Hi, I'm Faith Schwartz, CoreLogic Senior Vice President of Public Affairs in Washington, D.C. The housing recovery is coming along nicely. Overall, the CoreLogic National Home Price Index has seen positive growth year over year for 42 consecutive months. This is very reassuring. But in some pockets of the country, the recovery has stalled and we are reminded all housing is local. To better understand the nuances of recovery, let's look at how we as an industry and government addressed the housing crisis. According to Housing and Urban Development's Housing Scorecard and the Hope Now Alliance, there have been a total of 1.5 million government HAMP loan modifications completed with an additional 6.1 proprietary modification as of July 2015. Traditionally, distressed mortgages follow this waterfall of workout options for those borrowers whose bank or mortgage companies remain participants in the government program Making Home Affordable, HAMP. To understand the process of both servicers and borrowers from what they follow, a basic overview of the waterfall of activity is as follows. HAMP modifications come first. If a borrower fails to qualify or the investor does not allow for a government modification, they then cascade into another proprietary modification option. This process is often dictated by the end investor's own unique program guidelines for modifications. When all modification efforts have been exhausted, a common next step is a non-retention option or a deed in lieu or short sale where the foreclosure is prevented and all parties to the transaction agree to the solution. While never optimal, the idea is to ensure every option is exhausted to prevent foreclosure if all parties prefer that solution. Several million modifications and workouts have been supported with efforts to avoid foreclosure and thus prevented a more harm to consumers, communities, and our housing market. Some of these programs are scheduled to expire, HAMP in 2016, and some will change with the newer books of business originated that will not experience a 30% drop in home equity. What markets have lagging appreciation and what can we do about that for the distressed homeowners and loans in the communities? A review of seriously delinquent loans as a percentage of a total of loans for the top core base statistical areas measured by loan count reveals 46 jurisdictions have seriously delinquent loans greater than the national delinquency rate. The list of jurisdictions can be roughly broken down into those areas that experienced greater downturns as seen in areas like Las Vegas, Tampa, and Jacksonville. Or those states experiencing lengthy foreclosure timelines such as New York and New Jersey. And finally, those areas that have been experiencing declining economic and labor markets such as Philadelphia, Cleveland, and less dense areas in New England. For instance, in New York and New Jersey, Oregon and Hawaii, we have significant lengths in foreclosure timelines that prolong the distressed overhang in those jurisdictions. Also, there continues to be unevenly distributed home price appreciation at the more local levels. The Midwest is a premier example where home prices continue to move sideways or marginally upwards. That area will likely require monitoring for some time going forward. Clearly, there are key markets where recovery has been elusive. The drag on recovery in those markets suggests that there may be other opportunities to assist these markets that belie the traditional route of recovery. What are the lingering effects of the distressed housing in these communities? At our next update, we'll take a deeper dive on the performance and the view of the communities and explore where there may be substantial negative equity where solutions are still needed that fall outside of the traditional toolkit. The combination of nonprofits, restoration of communities, and stabilization of homeowners with affordable solutions will be the next focus of our next discussion. As always, thanks so much for joining our update. For more on CoreLogic's perspective on the U.S. housing economy, please visit the insights area of corelogic.com.